that's you've got fantastic jewelry on and a, and a gassy shirt and outfit. But it wasn't always like that, was it? Things weren't always as, as luxurious as this. Well, not exactly, but it could have been if I wanted to. Because I have a lot of relatives. Could have done a lot for me if I get... I imagine if I would ask them, but I didn't want to ask anybody for no favor. Fats, when you've got all these things, I mean, you've got practically everything money could buy. What's left to excite you in life? No more. <laughs> no. No kidding. You know, when I would... When I, when I first had about 20 years ago, when I first started, I had $3,600 in the bank, 37. And uh, you had mentioned about my jury, and I took $3,650 and left me $50 in the bank. That's how much I like the jury. You spent $3,600 on, on jewelry? And left the $50. Didn't know where the rest was going to come from, but I had an idea I'd be working. I wasn't sure. I get the feeling that it's, with money anyway, it's sort of easy come, easy go with you. Because I understand you're a, you're a big gambler, is that right? No, I'm not much of a gambler, but if you stick around Las Vegas long enough, you, you, you try. What is it about gambling? I don't know. If I did, I would win. <laughs> I never win. I don't think I'd be uh, playing anymore, try to play, because I'm not familiar with it. I guess nobody or too much. But you be around a place so long, it just come natural. Everywhere you go, you, matter of fact, when you first get on the plane, the first thing you see is slot machine. And from then on, you could stay in town for a month, nothing else to do, so I'm going to play slot machine. That's how I started. Playing slot machine for nickel, then I went to a quarter, then 50 cents, then dollar machine, silver dollars, which did not make them anymore. Now they make it. Even now, they make it paper dollars to go in the machine. But I still like it very much. I guess it's sort of like an addiction. It's something that gets into your blood. And yeah, like if you stay around anything too, you know, long enough. But I can get it out. I think it's out now. I'm at over half a million now. That's enough of it. Good Lord. That's incredible. Yeah, now I imagine what I could have done with it if I'd have saved it. Did you ever think when you were a kid that you'd be throwing $150,000 away? No, I never thought I would ever have thought $150,000 or more. It's funny, isn't it? It's, yeah. the, it's the great American dream. Everyone can grow up to be a millionaire. Yeah, well, sometimes people dream about it and never make it. I never dream about it. <laughs> what, what sort of things do you, do you enjoy spending money on now? Clothes, and I still like diamonds. Um, you're a man of no modest income now. Do you get involved at all in what's happening in the States with civil rights? Or do you think... No, I never... Uh, mom, no, I just stick to my music. Why? How can you show... You know, like... Uh, you could do a lot for it. Well, I let other people take care of that. I don't... I think my best side is stick with my music. It's just that the, the, the reason I bring it up, too, is because you've got, what, six children? Yep. Six. And, like, it's pretty important that they grow up in a good America, I would think. I think it's a good American, but it just takes a little time. Everything's working all right, I think. Mm -hmm. 